Ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid. Gentlemen and ladies, don't be scared. Ladies and gents, let your love be between you and your loved ones. Don't let it run free. That's how people get in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, I'm uh, installing ESCT. Those of you who don't know about ESCT, you should get familiar with it. Um, get the home version. It's free. Uh, especially if you use the fake email. You can just keep renewing it every 30 days. Now, it's a pretty good software. It has a firewall. And it does tend to block the access to your unit from those units that want to get access to your unit that shouldn't be having access. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I have four virus scanners on this particular unit. It is absolutely necessary. Actually, six. Uh, there are two on the Mac side. Um, absolutely necessary. Because I don't want nothing getting through on this computer because I ain't got time! You understand? Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long day. Been up since three this morning. It is now six p.m. It feels like it's nine. I'll be going to sleep in just a moment. I just wanted to let you guys know that I really, really, really would like to give you more information than what I've already given you over the past eight months. But I don't think it is possible. What am I trying to tell you? I am trying to tell you that if you go over the last set of videos for since April of this year up until now you have remedy after remedy after remedy to care and take care of all the things I have a gentleman who asked me for a consult today well he did not know not today I had a consult today he asked me two days ago he paid two days ago I got in touch with him we had a brief conversation as to what he was looking for and at the end of the conversation he said he wanted to start his own company and I asked him what type of business did he want to get involved in and he told me and I said well the first thing you need to do is you need to get a corporation so I told him I will show him how to get a corporation without having to go through all the steps and paying somebody to do everything for him show him how to do it himself to acquire his own corporation and the right kind the one that pretty much will already have trade lines and so forth told him that stuff I can talk about on um, on consults it's just anything that's in competition with SATCOM, I cannot talk about in a consult. And we talked about his situation. I had another gentleman who, he, he did something unique. He did a motion to confirm with the Federal Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the highest appeals court in the nation. He did his motion to confirm in that court. And I thought he did that because he had read the Federal Arbitration Act and realized that it doesn't say district court. It just says the court. Okay? Petition the court. It doesn't say which court, which is so unique. Well, I, I stayed away uh, from his because I wanted to see where his thinking was. Well, eventually he called me and asked for a consult. We had our initial conversation on Saturday, talked for about two hours. That wasn't the consult. That was just me getting a feel for all of his needs. We talked again on Sunday, and then we had our consult today. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this ain't gonna happen with everybody, but I usually tend to give people more than what they paid for, because why? Because you're paying the Eon Foundation for access to me. That's literally, that's all you're doing. You're paying the corporation. It's a nonprofit organization. You're paying that corporation. You're not paying me. Okay? And the corporations are what provides me a place to stay. I'm not on a salary. I do not get a salary. I do not pay attention. I do not get a salary. I do not have an income. I don't need an income. Don't want an income. Don't care about an income. As long as the necessities are taken care of, I'm content, everybody. 
finally got my heater for this place. I won't be able to use it until tomorrow night because I've been laying tile and other things in here. And so I got to clean out the area where it's going to be. I have solar charge controllers to hook up because I'm replacing solar charge controllers, replacing batteries, replacing inverters. So there's a lot of work being done tomorrow. And so I got to move a lot of boxes and things out of the way because I got to return a lot of junk. And in a nutshell, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell you all there are three people, no, four people this weekend who requested consults. And as I deal with all of my consults now, I give people homework. I'm not no joke. There is no reason for me to tell you information that you can get on your own first. And then we can talk about the things that you can't get, the things that you just can't go out there and find. So I point people to the information that they're going to need to get a better understanding because, ladies and gentlemen, I can't speak for you in court. But after two hours of talking, recording the videos, documenting it, the experience itself, you'll be able to recall these conversations to mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm also calling on this particular video to let you guys know while I had this time that I am taking care of that document. I do like some of the points that I'm bringing up. I just got to narrow it down. The gentleman who I had a consult with today, I told him I don't do documents for people because it's too much. He's going to need documents done one way or another because there are a couple of things that were done that weren't done that could have been done different. And so now I got to do what I can to try to assist him. And I am going to assist the young man. Okay, right now the document I'm doing for him has taken me two days. It won't be finished until Thursday. Again, you can't pay me to do documents, ladies and gentlemen. It's too much work. Because I have to anticipate what the response will be, won't be. And I also have to add the information to protect people on appeal. What we're going to do is there are several standard documents that need to be put on an appeal when you're on a federal level. I would say use them on a state level as well. There are just certain documents you need to do automatically. Okay, so we're going to create templates for you guys. So when you have to file an appeal, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all this is during the conversation with this gentleman this is what i came to go back look at the federal arbitration act those of you who have arbitrations you need to pay attention to what i'm about to say because this is the most important thing that i could say about arbitration over the past year and a half go back and look at section number 12 of the federal arbitration act ladies and gentlemen pay attention to section 12 of the federal arbitration act Notice that it says nobody can do a motion to modify and or correct and or vacate after 90 days. That includes the court. Nobody can put a motion, not even the judge on their own motion. They cannot. After the 90 day period, no one can contest the arbitration. Those of you who have had courts contest the arbitration, you need to be going back into that court and you need to be appealing on that issue alone. That's going to be the issue we get into the Supreme Court on. Section number 12. Matter of fact, will you show us section number 12? Because I don't see section number 12. Can you show us section number 12? Section number 12! Section number 12! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you section number 12 since some of you are so insistent so that you can see it for yourself. Look, you guys know I've been going over the Federal Arbitration Act and the United States Arbitration Act. You know I've been going over this act. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, give me a second, because I have the act already pulled up. Dag nabbit, I don't know where it is. We, hold on. I've been having a problem, been having a problem, been having a problem. Let's see. Nope, not there, not there, not there. Let's go here. That's not it either. <sighs> you know what? I don't have to do that. I can go here. Sorry. Uh, I have the Federal Arbitration Act, the, the United States Arbitration Act, excuse me, 
I have the original what you call them it what you call it what do you call that thing that statutes at large thing I have that document I was able to download that today and a different one than I had before but the same one I had before you know what I mean it's the same document but from a different website so I do have it uh, I will put it's already up on our website ladies and gentlemen but I will probably put it up again and I will say statute at large United States Ar Arbitration Act statute at large I'll put that and I'll do a video showing you guys where it is you just will have to give me a second I need to open this thing up so ladies and gentlemen this is um, Gerald Levert and his father Eddie singing wind beneath my wings and I heard this song for the first time when I bought the album it's called father and son and I thought it was literally for these two coming together could not have been a better combination especially since their voices are pretty much that close together so give Gerald his credit ladies and gentlemen because you know that man was a singer um, ladies and gentlemen I think this is interfering because I didn't hit this twice and that's irritating because I don't remember which browser I opened it may have been you know I think it was torch and I believe I've deleted torch so torch is not on my computer anymore Oh, you torched it? Yes, I did. I torched it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to pause y'all while I'm listening to Gerald Levert because I'm not going past 15 minutes. One second. 